I am Sister Anna Maria. Almighty and merciful God, we come before you with heavy hearts, mindful of the lives that hang in the balance and the complexity of human existence. We acknowledge that you alone are the giver of life and only you hold the right to take it away. We humbly beseech your mercy and grace for those who find themselves on death row, for they too are your children. You, in your infinite wisdom, made us all imperfect, and in our imperfection, we sometimes commit grave injustices. We recognize that the degree of harm varies among us, and we pray for those whose circumstances have led them down a path of darkness. We lift up to you those who were not born into true family situations, who never experienced the love, support, and guidance that a family should provide. For those who have never known a safe place to fall back on, their perception of the world may be skewed. Help us see them not as evil people, but as individuals shaped by the circumstances of life, still deserving of love and compassion. Incarceration often enforces an identity upon them as murderers, as people who are inherently bad or evil. We pray that in the confines of prison, the good parts of their identity may find a way to emerge. May they learn that trust is reciprocal, even in an environment that often feels untrustworthy. We recognize the anger, grief, extreme loneliness, and isolation that permeate their lives. We understand that they have lost the life they once expected, just as their families have. In prison, they are deprived of the basic human need for contact and may feel unworthy or irredeemable. Grant them hope, O oh Lord, that in you they can find solace and redemption. Let them find good, holy people in their lives who can show them your love, for it is through these individuals that they will learn about you. May they participate in programming that contributes positively and helps them navigate the complex spiritual and emotional challenges of prison. Help them abide by the rules and accept their limitations. We also pray for forgiveness and reconciliation, both from the perpetrators and the victims' families. We understand that reconciliation may not always be achieved in person or reciprocated but we trust in your all-powerful nature to bring healing and closure. In your boundless love and grace, we offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who showed us the way of forgiveness and love. Amen. <laughs>